Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to GIS World channel. In this video, I would like to show you how to configure the QGIS Cloud plugin. So maybe the first question which has come to your mind is what, why is important this plugin? You know, for creating the WebGIS web mapping, we will use this plugin, which is really powerful to create exactly what you have into your QGIS desktop into the web and the data will be saved in the cloud. So let's let's uh, configure our plugin. First of all, you must come to the manage and install plugin. You already informed, I already installed, you know, QGIS cloud plugin and install. And after that, when you install, you know, coming here, uh, QGIS cloud and QGIS uh, cloud uh, plugin, and it will be added into your panel. As you see here, we have the here map, upload data, account, and about. And you see this is the, you know, who uh, developed this plugin uh, with uh, the person and mostly from the Germany. And, you know, we have some contact information and some, some company who made this. And, uh, you know, some kind of source code and bug tracker in the GitHub. So, the most important part is that, you know, first of all, you must uh, create one account. So if you, do, you I already created for saving the time, but if you just click here, it says sign up, it, you will be uh, directed to the uh, this one, qgiscloud.com. Uh, and if you go here, you know, you see some kind of, you know, different version, the, the free version and the pro version. As you see the free, you do not have too much option and it's, um, you know, you can, you know, unlimited public map only for the non-commercial uh, purposes and you can just have one post JS database. But in the pro one, you have, you know, many options because, but because you must pay 65 euro and, you know, some, some other option. And here is really important viewer customization and for the logo, cascading style sheet and editing in the web GIS client. And if you just come here, you you see some some uh, features which are uh, possible in the free version, fixed scale and number of database, and uh, for example, av uh, available space for the data is fifty megabyte, but here is a five hundred megabyte. It's a huge difference, but it's good for the start, and you see how this uh, plugin and the uh, QGIS cloud plugin is working, and if you are satisfied, you can go to the pro one. So let's start. So if I just go to the QGIS again, and I already created one account with the GIS word, and hopefully it will come, and I must add my passport. So hopefully it will be connected. To the cloud and you know we have here one server and yes uh, you know here is uh, you know for creating to work with the QGIS cloud you need at least one QGIS cloud database creating a database can take a few minutes please be patient do you want to create a new database yes we must create otherwise we cannot work with this so yes so as you see, the database has been added with this some kind of you know, weird name. And you see we have the uh, you know, used database storage. As I told you, it's a 50 megabyte. And here is written free, which is the, the version free. And uh, so first of all, we will come to the map and you know, upload the data. This is the most important one. What kind of uh, information we would like to have and after that uh, the data will be uh, added to this table uh, schema and you know this is a table name and uh, you know because the data will be updated uh, and uploaded to the database to the cloud database and uh, here so it seems everything okay we have the three layer here and three layer here and if i just upload the data the data you know will be uploaded to the database it takes a little time but you know they are not really huge data and here it asks me you know to uh, to save somewhere for example I will save it here 
the Qgis and Cloud plugin, the name of the new QGIS file. And just saved and you know it will be changed QGIS Cloud plugin because these data right now they are if I just you know in the information status you can see right now is that in the database and the host you see db point QGIS cloud and the port number so they are not uh, right now the real shape file data they are coming from the they are a post JS line so and again everything is okay right now and if I just go to the publish uh, uh, here here we have this option as we already talked you can just add the open street map for the free version and here if you just publish the data it will be created one link and after that if you open this link you can see your web js your map online so let's check how it's working what is the result you see we have the tree uh, layer here with the some uh, for example with the orange points and uh, some uh, the green color and let's see the result in the web how is that takes a little time so it's done as you see this web map and you know this is the support email address and map admin and web map and you see if you just send this link to, to the friends or somebody else they can see your map and so let's just click and we must go to the directed to the web so it seems okay hopefully we have something great so as you see we have the map in the web and if I just send this link to the friends to somebody else they can open and uh, see this map and we have here you know some kind of option for example legend and lawyer and for example we can just information status and if i just click off you know the point will be um will be off and here you know for example just city of germany and just or state of the germany you have we have this possibility and here even we have you know to define uh, some kind of you know transparency like other uh, webjs so let's uh, just make it and you know here you know it will be going to the show show entire map if i just click and we have this option zoom in and zoom out as i said it will be really simple uh, webgis in this free version and here if you can you know search for the location and coordinates and for example let's check how is the pop-up if i just click here for example here a state of germany and if i uh, click you see and uh, for example the the attribute table and here in the city of germany you see the attribute table of the uh, city of germany and if i just cl click for example here information status so you see the information of the status that as i explained in the previous video so yes it was uh, somehow really you know uh, simple and fast introduction to the qgis cloud uh, plugin the free version definitely the uh, uh, the licensed version the pro version is, is uh, another story and you can have the many option for for example designing your webjs but i think it would be it is nice for a start and i hope you enjoy from this video and if you have any question or if you have some some additional information regarding this plugin please write it down in the comment section and everybody can use your knowledge from this uh, plugin thank you very much and see you soon